So in this video, we're going to look at the new home page feature in Class Teams. So you'll notice that this feature is rolled out over the summer and you've now got a new tab, which um, sometimes appears as sort of the first tab you get when you open up a class team. And it's a home page for that class team, which you can personalize for that individual class. So I'm in a history year 11 set one class here and I've got a page for them um, right at the top here called home page. Now you have to remember that you don't want to be duplicating work as a teacher, so you don't want to be putting lots of resources in here and things that you're going to have to redo over and over again for the different classes that you teach every academic year. So this really is just about personalizing it for that one particular class. Um, so again, be aware, be aware of that when you're planning this out and make sure you're not putting too much work into sort of details and resources because a lot of this page will automatically generate as you start to use the team. So having a quick look at it, we've got a welcome area for the class at the top. Um, we've got an area where we could add in some important announcements at the top. Uh, we've got some links we could uh, add, add here as well to different websites. We've got a class schedule, and this is basically the class calendar that gets populated automatically as you schedule meetings. So you can see I've got a online class here and there's a join button, and that is just populated automatically from whatever um, we schedule in the team as we normally would. And um, there's also the assignments here as well, and I'll just link straight to the assignment. And again, it's only going to show me the assignments for this one particular class, um, and it's going to be automatically populated as I create assignments. I've also got recent files here as well. So any files I upload into the team, they'll automatically show here, depending what level, what level of access people have. And there's also a space to put a bit about myself at the bottom. Um, so there isn't a huge amount of personalization that we have to do on this site, but there's probably some nice things we can do. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit this page and just personalize it a bit. So I'm going to click the edit button. So you can just uh, create your own sections. So I can create uh, different columns, uh, different layouts for the page, but it's very simple to add web parts into these sections once you've got them. You just click the plus button and you get to choose from a bank of um, res uh, a bank of different web parts. So I could add in things like Twitter feeds or Yammer if you're using Yammer. Um, people web parts. I mean, there's some that we create in here as well, um, like the My Events. Um, but you can add any of these to so page, YouTube video, you can add some rich content. What I'm going to do is just edit what's already there. So we're not going to go into too much of a deep dive into SharePoint. And we've got other videos about that, but I'm just going to edit what is on the page just to make it a bit simpler. So here it says, welcome to class. Obviously I can just change that text if I wanted to. I am going to go and change the image. Um, so I'm going to click the pencil icon to edit this. And I'm going to click change. I'm going to pick a more suitable image for my history class. So there is some stock images. It's, it's, there's not a huge amount of images there. You can always grab them from the web or upload them yourself, but I'm just going to, um, look for old buildings and I'm going to grab uh, the pyramids as my example. It's quite a big image and that's too big for me. So I'm just going to use a crop tool and just make it a bit smaller. Great. Um, and then when I've done that, I'm just going to click into here and put welcome to history. Um, and I can add announcements in here. So I may, I could just come and delete this bit if I haven't got any announcements. So I could just press the backspace and delete it. I'm going to put a notice on here about exams coming up. And as I scroll down the page, um, you'll see I've got the resource area. So I could add links to useful websites that we're going to use in class. That would be quite useful. Um, also, if you're doing, you know, what, what we recommend in terms of having some centralized resources that you reuse with all the different classes in your department, you could put a link on here to that central resource area as well. So it's quite easy. You just click add a link and you can just put uh, select from a link, paste in the URL, and that will create a nice link for you on the page there. Of course, you can just leave it as standard or I could even delete that using the uh, bin icon. 
I've got the class schedule, which again is automatically populated with any scheduled meetings. So I can just leave that as it is, because that's going to populate as I start to use it. Same with assignments and same with recent files, they're gonna populate automatically. I am going to add a bit of an introduction for my class about myself. So I'm just gonna delete the sample one by pressing the cross and typing in the name of the educator. So I've put a, a it's already pulled some of my information uh, from the system. So it's showing me my profile picture and my name. I don't need to add that. And um, I've just added my own little personal bio at the bottom and I could always add a link uh, to my profile as well. Now I can reorder these as well. So if I think maybe this is a bit more important than recent files, I can maybe move that up a bit, uh, maybe move recent files into this column, just dragging it and dropping it. I want, when I'm ready for everybody to see this draft because the students can't see this page until I click republish. So I'm now ready, I'm gonna click republish. That's going to um, minimize that page again, so back into the team. I can see this is what it now looks like. So I've got welcome to history, exams coming up in November, don't forget to attend the revision classes after school. I can see that online lesson that I've got planned. I can see the assignments for this particular class. And I've got my bio on there now and my recent files. So obviously we can go crazy on this. We can make some be really beautiful pages, but I think um, to start with, it's just really nice just to add a bit of personalization to it. We don't have to go crazy. We can always come back and if you have time, you can watch our, our other video on how to make SharePoint sites look great and you can go crazy with this and make some amazing sites. Um, but again, what, what would reiterate is, remember this is one page for one class for one academic year. So don't put too much effort into putting all your resources here because it's just gonna disappear next year and you're gonna to have to redo it for all your different classes. So for example, I've got in my SharePoint portal a history page with all my history content in there. And I'm just going to grab that link so what I'm going to do to make it really easy to access those central English resources is on my homepage, I'm just going to edit it again. And I'm just going to make this page, uh, this image link to it. So I'm just going to edit the web part. I'm going to paste in the link. And we're going to, in fact, change this text to click here to access all the history resources. And publish that and now what you'll see is when people click on that they'll go straight to that central history resource area and that's going to work for all the classes I teach every single academic year all I need to do is put in that image and uh, they're off so hopefully that's a little tip to help save you some time when you're designing these pages again you don't have to go crazy it automatically populates with things like the schedule and the assignments and recent files so there's very little work you have to do to just personalize that and even link it to those central resources. So everybody's working off that uh, master copy that the whole department's working on. And um, so you've got the best quality resources in a single place.